Are you having a hard time making your dates go somewhere, like going to the second date or the third date, or maybe even making progress in the date that you're having? Most guys have this problem. They end up talking themselves out of the woman liking them. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the eight things that you can do, or at least not do, to ensure that you have smooth and successful dates. He has these expectations, and so having these unmet expectations, these expectations for how the date's supposed to go, is what usually sabotages it. So he's in here trying to impress, or trying to do all these things, and trying to have something, have any agenda, versus just being there and trying to get to know her. If he's there just trying to get to know her and asking her great questions, then she's gonna feel that he's actually interested in her inside the person inside the body. Most guys are so enamored by her physical beauty or what he can get from her, either validation or sexually, that he never really gets a chance to really get to know the person inside. And this is what connection really means. So you coming in here having these expectations of how the date's supposed to go or what you want, as opposed to just connecting with her and seeing where it goes is part of the big problem. You just let it flow as it should. In other words, relax. You don't need anything from her. You're good and secure in who you are. You know, you don't have to try to become confident. You don't have to try to impress her. You just need to be resting in who you are and be really proud of that guy. Be very secure in that guy. And if she doesn't like that guy, well then all you've done is you demonstrate she's not a good match for you. Your job, again, is not to try to get her, not to get her approval. Your job is to see if she matches you as an individual well. Guys like to talk about themselves. In other words, he'll just go on and on and on about his achievements and what he's doing and what he's up to and his interests because it's easy to talk about, right? He knows what it's all about. You know what you're all about. And most people love talking about themselves. But the problem with this is, is that in your trying to get her to like you by trying to impress her and telling you her all about your life and how you are doing all these things and accomplishments and the car you drive, and the money you make and all this bullshit, she's gonna be looking at you like, well, where do I fit into his life or is everything really about him? And so part of this, this dating thing is, are you a good compatibility? Is she compatible with you? And you're never gonna know that unless you start asking her questions. And so most guys that get in the date, they start talking and talking and talking and talking as if like he's this quick rapid fire guy, if he can eventually convince her to like him. And your job on the date is not to convince her to like you. And this is a big problem. Most guys go on the date, they're trying to impress her. And so what they do is they talk too much. They talk too much about themselves and they try to come up with all these things to impress her. You don't need to impress her. In fact, the most impressive thing that you can do is be secure in yourself. And so you, in the date, ask her questions. You don't really need to talk about yourself that much. Just keep asking her questions and get to know her. The more you get to know her, the more she gets to talk about herself. And everybody loves to do that and you get to understand how she operates and to see if she really is a good match for you. So in this place, you are evaluating if she's a good match for you. But most guys never get to that place because they're trying to get something from her. When you are having these conversations with her and she's sitting across from you at the table or you're taking a walk in a park, being negative in any form is not a good thing. Like, I can't tell you how obnoxious it is when somebody's coming up with negativity. High performing people and people who have a good outlook in the future and are living from abundance are not being negative all the time. They're not going out there and making these sarcastic remarks and be like, yeah, I guess it always happens this way, you know, another dollar, another day type of language. You shouldn't be having these negative things. You should be gossiping about other people. Leave the politics out of it. Leave the religious talk out of, the, out of the conversation. You don't need to have these types of conversations. You want to sit there and get to know her. If you want to know what her politics are, that's fine. If you want to know what her religion is, that's fine. That's good evaluation markers, but you shouldn't have a conversation about why it should be one way or the other. And so part of this negativity is getting into an argument or a discussion with her. You're not there to get into a discussion with her. You're not there to get her to, to agree to something. You're not there to convince her of fucking anything. You're there to just hang out have a good time and evaluate if she's a good match for you. So a lot of guys get into this place where they have this conversation where he says, well, I'm just having a debate with her. She doesn't want to have a debate with you. She wants to hang out and have a good time. Having a debate is something you do with the guys. So when you're in this situation with her and you're being negative and you're talking about these volatile topics, you shouldn't be having these arguments with her. You shouldn't be negative. You should be in a positive place and talking about good events and good things. This is just good practice for you and yourself anyway. If you're having a debate with her, or you're getting into the negative, this is showing her how judgmental you are. And if she wants to see that you're a guy that's going to accept her for everything, and you're showing her how judgmental you are, she's just gonna be like, yeah, I don't feel good around this guy and I don't know why. Or man, he's really negative. Or, oh, he doesn't like this and I don't like it, which means he's not gonna like me and he's not gonna accept me. And so a lot of guys end up talking her out of liking him. So you, when you're in this place, remember, girls wanna have fun. Have fun with her. Don't get into these heavy topics and discussions. You can, she can tell you what these are, 
But again, what you're going to do is you're just going to take note of it and be like, okay, that's where she's at with it. And just change the conversation to something better. So when you're on this date with her and you're sitting across the table and you're not being negative in conversation, don't be checking your phone all the time. In fact, put it on silent, put it in your pocket. Don't lay it on the table. Now, she might do that, but for you, the set the standard for yourself. Don't be getting on the phone all the time. You don't need to do it. Because what it does is it signifies that, hey, this is more important than you. If I'm sitting here doing this all the time, like, yeah, 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 okay, okay. And then you put your phone here, you're just, okay, okay, cool. Oh yeah, yeah, there's this notification. Oh yeah, yeah. And if you have a smartwatch that keeps lighting up, turn that shit off. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes being on the other side of that. Not your boss, not your friends, not your mom not your girlfriend, not your kids. Nobody likes that shit. It's fucking disrespectful for the person that's in front of you. You're not giving them your full attention. You're not giving them your presence. And this is a key distinction because with this cell phone that's been in your hand all the time, you're just attached to it and addicted to it and getting that dopamine hit all the time. You're demonstrating to her, like if this is the, the most attention you can give her, imagine what's gonna happen six months down the road when you're used to her. You'll be, have, you'll be eyeball fucking that thing all the time. And she'll be like, He's just not here. Then she'll pick up her phone and she'll check out too. And then before you know it, no conversation's happening. You're just sitting there just like in these two separate arenas. And so when you're on the date, don't put your phone there. Put it on silent, put it in your pocket. Don't look at it. Now, if she starts doing it, then you can call it out and say, hey, I'd like to be present here. Let's, let's you and me, let's have this, this space here without our phones. And then you do that. And if she won't do it, then you can just get up and leave. You don't have to explain yourself. You say, well, I, this is how I like to operate. I like to operate with presence. I'm here to be present with you, and you've got my undivided attention, and I'd like the same. And if she can't do it, and then you leave, she'll get really upset about it. It'll tweak her ego quite a bit, but you say, well, this is how I operate, so I'm going to go. And so you have to be able to be able to stand strong in who you are and what you will and will not tolerate. You don't have to be mean, and you shouldn't be, but again, keep this stuff on, keep it out, keep all the distractions out, presence, right? A relationship's about relating, so you wanna be present with her so she can relate to you, right? Just like I am with, here with you. Are you listening? Like, I'm looking right at you, and I'm talking to you, and I'm not getting distracted by all the other stuff out there. And so this is how you wanna operate with her as well. On this topic of being too negative, don't talk about your ex and complain about your ex because you're telling her, don't be like my ex. You're already putting judgments and telling her exactly how not to operate. And this is very subtle. Guys don't realize, like, I'm just expressing myself. No, you're telling her how she's supposed to be. My ex was too needy. She was always calling me all the time. And now this woman who's sitting in front of you is going to be like, okay, I'm now I'm going to be worried if I text him too much. Is that too much? Right? And she's already on a back leg. She's not going to feel safe with you just expressing herself and reaching out to you the way that she wants, which is what you want. You want her to be comfortable and be able to reach out to you in the way that she wants. Just because she does that doesn't mean you have to accept it. But at the same time, you don't have to set these limits on her. I didn't like my ex. She was such a bitch. Right? Now she knows that you talk badly about other people. Now she knows that she, you could probably call her a bitch at some point. And if nothing else, you call women bitches as opposed to trying to see the person inside who's having like a pain or some kind of suffering or whatever's going on. So if you have to bring up the ex at all, just say, yeah, we didn't work out. We had a couple of reasons why. And you should know what those reasons are by now if you went through and you got clear on why you broke up with her or why she broke up with your ass. And so get really clear on what that is. And then when you come into conversation with her at dinner or whatever else, she brings it up, just say this and realize, watch this. Once you've made these changes in the way you operate, you see her do it, you're gonna be like, yeah, I just don't like this. You're not gonna like the way that she operates because you've raised your level of standard for how you operate on a date and how you operate in life. And then when you see it happening in somebody else, you won't like it either because it's so much nicer to be in a positive environment, in a positive place. You watch, I guarantee it. Now, I really probably shouldn't have to say this, but punctuality matters because you have to look at the date as kind of a microcosm of how you operate your life. Again, you're on a date, so it's kind of like an accelerated, this is how I run my life program. And so when you're on this date, you're demonstrating to her how you live your life. She's looking at all these things. You see, for a woman, how she operates in one way is how she operates every way. Guys are a lot more compartmentalized. How he thinks in one way is just how he thinks in that one way. And then you can go over here and he's different in this other way. But again, she's going to be looking at you like, okay, he's late here, which means he must not think I'm that important, which means what other things are, is he late for? Is he late to work? Is he late for everything? Is he bad with his money because he doesn't pay his bills on time? It's going to come out in everything. She's going to look at you and say, like, yeah, okay, he was late. This means he's just not put together. This means he's not responsible. This means he's 
whatever, dot, dot, dot. She's looking at how you operate in a responsible manner. If you operate in a responsible manner, then she can look at you and say, this is a guy I can trust. This is a guy I can rely on. This is a guy I can be safe and let go of control to. This is a guy I could, once I feel safe and trusting him, could lead me in the relationship. But if you can't lead yourself, you're not leading her, which means that she's gonna end up having to lead everything and you're gonna wonder why she's always in her masculine. So you being punctual is absolutely key. And on that note, you should be planning the date. Now, you, should, you don't have to tell her all the things you're gonna do in the date, because that would ruin the surprise, but you should be planning what the date is. And we go into a lot of detail in the Broken and Badass program on how to set up great dates, but generally what you wanna do is you wanna have a place that you can meet that is low key. In other words, there's not a lot of investment in it, right? Go get drinks, get coffee. Go take a walk in the park. Because if it goes sideways, you can get the fuck out of there. And you're like, well, I don't want to. I want to kind of like get her here. And it's like, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that. I have a client. Let's take her on. The, I want to take her on this canoeing trip. It's like, dude, you, this is the first day. You're going to take her on a canoe. You're going to wrap her up all day long. She doesn't even know you. You're going to take her out in the woods by herself. She's not going to ever do it. He's like, no, she'll do it, man. A woman I like is going to do this. It's like, no, she won't. You're trying to go too fast. Like maybe after she's sleeping with you, you could do a trip like that. That's an all day trip. She doesn't know she's gonna have a good time with you. Now she's stuck on a canoe with you out on the river for six hours. Get the fuck out of here. She's not gonna do it. And she didn't. And so for you, you wanna have something that's really easy, just a simple, simple get together. And then you plan out the next two or three steps afterwards and you to ask her, hey, you wanna go here? Hey, do you wanna go here? Hey, I've got this thing planned. Let's go over here. And then as the date unfolds, you then take her on this journey. So you being able to demonstrate these type of things, being able to demonstrate that you have your house in order, that you have your house, meaning the way that you operate in the date in order, and that you have a plan and that you can lead her from one place to the next, instead of asking her for permission. Hey, what do you want to do? I don't know. We haven't made a plan. Hey, let's go to here. Here, I got a great thing going on. Hey, let's go over here. Let's get a drink over here. Let's go for a walk over here. Hey, I'd love to go do this. Why don't you come join me, right? You leading means you going first and invite her along. And so you doing this on the date demonstrates this, right? It demonstrates how you operate in your life. The date is a microcosm of how you operate in your life. And so you want to always demonstrate exactly how you are. And if, you are, if you're failing in these areas, you then can realize that you need to button those up and then you bring them out onto the date. But if you just do it in the date and then you don't do it the rest of your life, she's not gonna stick around for very long because she's gonna start seeing the holes in your facade and she's gonna call you a liar and she won't wanna be with you. And the biggest one of the night, don't get too physical too soon. Man, I have seen this over and over and over again. Don't try to get too physical too fast. Now, on the one hand, you do want to drive the physical touch. That's part of the dating process. But if you do it too much too soon, you're gonna turn her off and she's gonna run away and you're gonna wonder what happened. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen this. I've been out late at night, hanging out with my friends or going on a date with my wife, and then I'll be in a parking lot and we're about to get in the car and the door is open. You'll see a guy out there with the door open and the girl's sitting in the car and he's got his hand on the door holding, he's like between her and the car, between, he's in the, he's in the door and he's just talking and talking and talking and talking. Or she's leaned up against the car and he's, facing the car, so she's backed up against the car, and he's just talking and talking and talking and talking. You can tell that he wants to go in for the kiss. He wants to go in for the kiss. He wants to go in for the kiss. And she's just kind of like, yep, 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 okay, okay. And he's not getting the fucking picture. She's not interested. And the longer you sit in the space, the worse it gets, because she sees this guy just doesn't get it. So watch what she does in her body language. If she touches your arm, that means she wants you to touch her arm. If she starts rubbing on your arm, that means you can start rubbing on your arm. If she grabs you in a certain way, that means she wants to. You can go a little bit further if you want just to test it out, but don't be pushing that shit. Don't be like, oh, I got this agenda. I'm gonna see if I can make this happen. I'm gonna try to go in for the kiss. And then you go in for the kiss and she gives you that forehead or she gives you the cheek or something, you should have read that already. A woman who likes you makes it easy. She's gonna demonstrate it and it's gonna be obvious what she wants. Now, that being said, every once in a while, there is a situation where it might not be obvious, but always defer backwards a little bit. So if you go and she does give you the cheek, don't worry about it. You just went too far, she's not comfortable with it, maybe she doesn't like you enough, and that's totally fine. Just go be, find somebody who's a better match for you. Or she's just not ready. She's not ready because of something maybe you said and she's gotta see you out more. She's gotta see what's going on. Maybe she's got rules about dating or something like that. Maybe that's what's going on with her. It doesn't really matter. All you know is that she's not in there, she's not invested like you are, or that you have some agenda. In other words, there's something you want from her, you just don't want her as a person. And guys do this a lot. 
Guys who watch too much porn have an agenda. They're trying to get sex from this woman as opposed to just trying to connect. And then it ends up turning into this weird situation. All right, my brother, that was the eight mistakes that guys make on a date. Now, most guys, they talk themselves out of the woman liking them. If you're successful enough to get her on a date, there's a good chance that she likes something about you. And so if you're in this space, you really have an opportunity to just not fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Most guys just keep fucking it up because they're insecure and they have an agenda. They want to make something happen. They want it because they need that validation from her. They need her to make him feel better about himself. Like, oh, if I can get this woman, then I must be successful. If I can get laid, then I must be successful. I must be an attractive guy. A guy who's attractive is a guy who's secure in himself. The most secure guy in the room is always going to be the calmest. You don't have to be super funny. You don't have to be super witty. You don't have to have a lot of money. You don't have to be super fit. You just have to look really put together and super calm and secure in who you are. That's it. But you also have to be fully engaged with her. Now, there's a difference between being calm and being like kind of checked out and spacey because you've been meditating for 14 hours and being actually engaged in the conversation, engaged with her and being fully present like I am here with you. So if you want to know how to set up an amazing date, check out this video, Pachow, and I'll see you on the next one. So if you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more.